Hey guys, so in today's video, I will be recreating Kareena Kapoor's makeup look from the song Tarifa uh, movie Vire the Wedding. It's a very soft, easy to do, super glam makeup look. So without further wasting any time, let's just jump right into the tutorial. <laughs> To achieve the flawless looking base that Karina was rocking in that look, I'm first priming my face using Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm first applying it in my T-zone area and then spreading it all over. Followed with, I'm applying Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in shade Latte. This is like full coverage. She was definitely wearing a full coverage foundation, so I chose this one. This is going on my neck as well because I'll be wearing the similar dress that she was wearing. Then setting my face using NYX Cosmetics Matte Setting Spray. And moving on to my under eye area, I'm applying a Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in shade C10 first and then topping it with Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in light ivory. Now uh, this is going to give me very subtle highlight to my uh, under eye area and that's something I guess she was having. She, was, she did not have very exaggerated under eye area so I tried and imitate the same. Before I blend out concealer on the other parts of my face, I first set my under eye area because of course you are wearing very heavy duty concealer so you don't want that to crease on you and then set rest of the face using some translucent powder. Now using Freedom Makeup Pro Straw Palette, I'm going to contour my face using the dark contour shade first and then bronze up my face a little using the bronzer from the same palette because she had a very wonderful carved out face so I am trying and achieve the same then I'm applying some translucent powder underneath my contour and moving on with contouring my nose and then comes highlighting I'm going to use Colourpop Luster Dust in shade Nomi and uh, I'm applying it on the highest points of my face wherever I usually like to highlight and where she is highlighted as well. She had a lot of highlighter going on. She was glowing so much. So yeah, a lot of highlighter there. And then filling in my brows boldly because that's what she's rocking in that look. I'm using Colourpop Brow Pencil in Bang and Brunette and filling in my brows. Moving on, I'm dusting all the excess powder off my face meanwhile setting everything in place and then applying uh, City Color B Matte Blush in shade Guava on the apples of my cheeks. She definitely had a lot of blush going on so I've applied a little extra and then setting my face again using NYX Matte Setting Spray. I'm first applying an eyeshadow base in shade Skin Tone by NYX. She did not have very bold eyes. They were really subtle and slightly smoked out on the outer corner. I'll try and achieve the same look by using the Balm New Tude palette. I will first be picking up this very subtle brown transition shade and this is going to go in my crease just to define my crease a little bit and then picking up the darker brown shade from the same eyeshadow palette i will be uh, applying this uh, slightly taking very little of it onto a blending brush and applying it on the outer uh, one third of my eye and then blending it out into my crease the rest of the eye i then picked up this slightly shimmery skin toned eyeshadow and applied it all over my eyelid using my fingertip blending it into the other color that i have applied in the outer corner i'm then tight lining my eyes using plum goodness everyday wear kajal my favorite favorite kajal and then applying a, a very simple everyday li wear liner because uh, she did not have a very bold liner going on rather she had eyeliner that was smudged out using some uh, black eyeshadow and trying and do the same and then extending it on the outer corner as a cat eye and for the lower lash line I'm drawing another inverted cat eye on my lower lash line going parallel to the above one just drawing two wings that's what I mean Put 
onto my lashes i am going to top them with sigma uh, mascara uh, she had false lashes going on so i'm going to apply the false lashes as well the false lashes are from pack number 57 i applied them off camera and moved on to my uh, waterline i'm filling it in using a nude pencil this is wonder pencil by nyx cosmetics And then I quickly changed into the outfit that she was wearing. I had a little similar looking outfit, so I wore that. And for the lips, she had very bold pink lips going on with definitely having blue undertone. So I picked up Pinwheel by Colourpop and applied it all over my lips. And with that, the look is complete. This is the whole look. I tried and create the look closest to what Karina had in that song. I hope you people like this tutorial. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more such looks coming your way. And until then, I see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.